Galaxy S23 Ultra VS1 Plus 11 can affordable beat Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is shaping up to be the most popular Android flagship phone of 2023. But can Underdog OnePlus offer more with its equally powerful OnePlus 11? The OnePlus 11, which was just officially unveiled, has a few aces up its sleeve. Super fast charging that eliminates the need for overnight top-ups, performance optimizations that make it great for gamers, and a new Hasselblad branded camera system with a focus on capturing high quality portrait photos. Those are all unique features, but the Galaxy S23 Ultra is without a doubt the more versatile phone. It has more features and longer software support. It has cool and versatile zoom cameras. It has an S Pen. It has a brand new 200 MP camera that is now more capable in challenging conditions. And it's the most refined this phone has ever been. So which one should you go for? Let us guide you and tell you all about these two. The first and most obvious design difference between these two is just about their physical size. Both are big phones, but the OnePlus is more palatable. It's narrower, so you can hold it more comfortably in one hand, and it weighs less too. While the Galaxy is truly a gigantic phone, build quality feels premium on both of them. Both have an aluminum frame, toughened glass on the front and the back, and a slightly curved screen, but all of those premium features are something we kind of expect out of a flagship phone these days. The OnePlus only comes in two colors, a green and a unique glittery black finish, while the Galaxy S23 Ultra colors are more plentiful, and you do have a white model too. One detail worth mentioning is the positioning of the buttons. The OnePlus has its power key on the right and the volume keys on the left, much like an iPhone, while the Galaxy is both the power key and volume rocker on the right side. We also love that the OnePlus 11 keeps the alert slider, which is OnePlus glorified mute switch. It works great and is very convenient. We should also mention that the OnePlus comes in a larger box that includes the Zippy 100W fast charger coupled with a signature red OnePlus cable, and you even get a simply but useful case in the box. The Galaxy only comes with a cable in the box, but no charger and no case, both things you would need to purchase separately. When it comes to screens, the Galaxy has the upper hand as it uses the lightest and most advanced Samsung SX OLED panel, while the OnePlus 11 relies on an older generation OLED screen that is just a bit less impressive. Let us be clear, neither of these is a bad screen, but the Galaxy gets noticeably brighter outdoors and has slightly better characteristics. The S23 Ultra features a 6.8-inch screen size with a wider aspect ratio, while the OnePlus has a 6.7-inch screen with a narrower aspect ratio. But both have 1,404 type resolution and support adaptive 1-120 HD refresh rate. Both phones use a fingerprint scanner as their main biometric solution, but the Galaxy bets on an ultrasonic one, while the OnePlus uses an optical fingerprint reader. The OnePlus is particularly fast and easy to use. Both phones can also unlock using a 2D face scan. Not quite as secure as a fingerprint, but still a welcome feature. The biggest news in Android flagships for 2023 has got to be the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. It's more powerful, does not overheat as easily as previous Snapdragon chips, and shapes up to be a huge success. Both phones have this chip, and despite some slight differences in the setup, both perform to the highest level. The perceivable differences in performance between the Galaxy and the OnePlus come from the custom interfaces rather than the processors. We should note that the OnePlus is available in a version with a whopping 16 GB of RAM, which is sweet overkill and will ensure your dozens of open tabs stay open and you multitask with ease. We should also say that the Galaxy comes with the promise of four major software updates, which is a huge win in the Android space where you typically only get three years of support, so it is the more future-proof device. Both phones make some significant changes to their camera systems. The Galaxy adopts a brand new 200MP main camera with a promise to capture cleaner low-light shots, while the OnePlus 11 brings a 2x zoom telephoto camera to the mix to help it capture better-looking portraits. 